but let's see how she flies. So I'm running a focal price 2700 uh, kV motor, 6x3 EMP prop, 6 servos, uh, 40 amp speed controller, 2200 3 cell battery. Today, uh, more details again in the comments, uh, the comments below. So, just a bit of a breeze actually coming from behind me here, but... Let you have a nice look at that cool plan form there. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try and show you a good uh, arc test here. So basically I'm at 50-60% throttle, 30 degrees nose up, chop the power, and you can see it just sort of arcs. Let me do that again, I probably wasn't 30, 30 degrees nose up. There we go. Chop the power, and it should gen just gently float over the top. If, if you find the rear end sort of sinks on you, it's tail heavy, if you find the nose drops aggressively then it's uh it's obviously nose heavy so let's thrash her around here a little bit so one nice thing about that that uh, vertical stability that stefan added in is that when you're doing loops it uh sometimes with planes that are top heavy i find at the top or at the bottom of the loop the the plane will want to spill out to one side or the other and the nice thing about this with having that weight lower it's almost like it, it helps, especially when you're turning or, or in a pitch maneuver like a loop like that, is it almost acts, helps act like the keel of a sailboat. <laughs> so you can see it's very, very snappy in the pitch. So yeah, again, so it acts like kind of like the keel of a sailboat and just helps you track um, really, really precisely, you know, when you're in a turn or in a, in a loop. So I don't have, a, like you, said, you saw before, I don't have a whole lot of throw. If you wanted really snappier rolls than that, you could crank your... Uh... <laughs> you could crank your throws up, uh, you know, considerably higher to whatever your taste is. I, I'm sort of flying with what I feel is just enough uh, throw. So it just, it just changes direction so effortlessly. So let's put her into a high speed. High speed turn and climb out there. See if we can't bear her by for a nice little close pass here. Uh, that wasn't too close. So even slow, you know, nice, really nice pitch stability there. I was slowing down almost to a stall and I could still get the nose over. Uh, let me show you the rudders here. Nice, nice stall turn again with very little uh, throw in the rudders. Still very, very responsive in the yaw. Try that again. Oh, just stalled. That wasn't a stall turn. <laughs> but you notice there when it stalled, it didn't do. Uh, you know, because it's because it's balanced, it didn't do anything violent. Uh, you know, as it as it ran out of uh, as it ran out of energy, you know, like the nose didn't uh, didn't go crazy, didn't flip over on its back. So I'm just going to do a split S here, and because it's so well balanced, you know, it just sort of hangs there inverted on the on the split S. Like I'm not. I wasn't putting, as I was going sort of across the top of that loop, I, I was actually, I just let go of the stick. I had no input there. So very, very well balanced, you know, it didn't, uh, nose didn't drop. So just rock solid steady there in that, you know, that was a full speed, high speed turn. <laughs> it just, you know, when you're when you hammer the throttle on this thing, it's it's kind of one of those planes that sort of the faster it goes, the more stable it gets. It just really, really locks itself in. That was a bit better stall turn there. Yeah. 
Little victory roll on climb out. Oh. Okay, we gotta have one more high speed pass here. <laughs> Too fun. <laughs> All right. So to land this plane, because it's so well balanced, whoops, just sort of chop the power there. And it, you know, it just sort of establishes its own, um, its own sink rate. You know, I just sort of feed in a little bit of elevator there just at the very end to, uh, to hold it off. But uh, it, it, uh, it glides, like I said, in the, in the sort of the walk around there. You know, as long as this plane has is, is got a nice good airflow going over the wings, it's very, very solid and steady, glides beautifully. Um, again, it is a bit tricky, you know, when you get slow and really slow and you're starting to try to maneuver, but that's, that's a, you know, that's a characteristic of, uh, of pretty much any stealth plane. So there we have it, folks. Uh, the uh, North American MIG Consortium, or NAMSI MIG FA. Uh, as I mentioned before, please check out all the links below this video. Uh, we hope to have this, uh, this plane available to the public here uh, very soon as we uh, work out some final details on the, uh, on the website, plans, instruction, that sort of stuff. Um, but if you're looking for a really cool looking uh, stealth concept plane that is really uh, very aerobatic and speedy, um, uh, this is definitely a, an awesome choice. I'm just, like I said, I have over 120 flights on this plane and it's just an absolute blast to fly. Uh, at, uh, at any weight and power setup. So uh, thanks very much for watching and take care.